So recently I saw a clip on Twitter taken from the YouTube channel Geeks and Gamers, and if you're not familiar with that channel, and you're very lucky if you aren't, it's pretty much a dollar store version of the Quarterings YouTube channel, if you could fucking believe it. His whole shtick is basically pointing at various different types of media and screaming, this is woke, that is woke, and that is the entire fucking basis of his media analysis. Most recently he decried that the Mario movie may be woke because <gasps> the second trailer for the movie movie depicted Princess Peach as kind of a badass. I cannot believe that this movie is not going to make her a completely one-dimensional character whose entire purpose is to just get kidnapped and make scared sounds and do absolutely nothing more. That shit is okay in a video game, but we're talking about a full feature-length film. And from what I can glean from this movie's trailers, Mario, and I assume also Luigi, are newcomers to the Mushroom Kingdom, meaning prior to them arriving to the Mushroom Kingdom, there was no one there to save Princess Peach's ass. I mean, yeah, sure, there's the Toads that are supposed to be her bodyguards after all, but I mean come the fuck on. So it makes sense that Peach is at least a little capable in this movie. And it's not like this is the first time we've ever seen Princess Peach in a position that is not just get kidnapped, make scared sounds. She had her own fucking game back in like the 2000s where she saves Mario and Luigi. And there's also Mario 3D World where she's one of five playable characters and she seemed more than capable of handling her own in that game. And I actually liked playing as her because of that float ability she had. I don't count Mario 2, the western version, the inferior version, because, you know, that was all a dream. So if even the games themselves sometimes have her break away from being the typical damsel in distress, I'm failing to see why this movie can't do the same. If the movie wants to substantially change her character, I say, fucking let them. I 110% invite that. Because Peach in most of the games is like everything I fucking hate about the damsel in distress trope personified. She's stupid, helpless, completely oblivious to the dangers around her, and all in all has zero fucking personality because her only purpose in most of the games is to be the reason why Mario goes on a big adventure. So I have no fucking problem whatsoever if the movie wants to stray away from Princess Peach being, you know, that. It's 2022, people. I think it's finally time we move past the woman can't defend herself and always needs the man to jump in and save the day trope. While I highly doubt what I'm going to say will happen because Nintendo seems to be very averse to giving the mainline Mario games any more story that's not just, someone just got kidnapped, time to fucking save them. But if this movie's interpretation of Peach is actually executed very well, and she starts to act more like this in future Mario games, that would be a very welcome change to the character. Despite her being called Princess Peach, she seems to be the sole ruler of the Mushroom Kingdom. You would think that someone in such a high position would actually know at least the basics of self-defense and, you know, actually fucking act like a competent ruler. But we'll see how this movie handles Peach because all we got were just a few fucking snippets of her in the trailer. For all we know, she does get kidnapped at some point in the movie. And in fact, that wouldn't surprise me whatsoever if she does. In one part of the clip I mentioned before, Geeks and gamers pointed at this one part of the trailer where I think Mario was acting goofy while Princess Peach was acting serious, and he pointed at that and said, uh, see, Princess Peach is going to be depicted as this girl boss while Mario was the bumbling fucking idiot. Like, how the fuck do you know? Like, dude, the movie is still months away. All we have are two trailers currently that are only, like, two minutes in length. But no, just write off the entire movie as woke, just based on two trailers trailers because you know your audience will eat that shit up because you're the guy that points at everything and says that it's woke. I'm sorry that you feel threatened every single time a woman is depicted as capable and confident in media, but that's a you problem. And quite frankly, fuck your feelings. Society is moving past your stupid regressive norms, and thus, so is media. And I see that as entirely a good thing. Anyway, with all that said, Chris Pratt's Mario voice fucking sucks. That is the real problem problem with this movie. I know that has nothing to do with what I just talked about, but any opportunity to shit on Chris Pratt's Mario voice in video form, I will lunge at. But then again, maybe I shouldn't get so riled up over the voice because I don't even plan on seeing this movie. Maybe someday on a streaming service, but certainly not in theaters. Ugh. Anyway, that's all I have to say. Bye bye